Hi there, these comments are for ML and I am Michael from OTC online TOEFLcourse.com and you're doing a writing and speaking practice. So let's take a look at your essay right now. So I scored you in the three range, the low three, about 3.2, maybe 21 points out of 30. So I think You could probably, you have some language use issues and maybe you could have better addressed the actual writing task. Okay, so let's take a look. So we have, you need to travel from your home to a place 40 miles away. Compare the different kinds of transportation you could use, tell which method you would choose, give reasons for your choice. Okay, so based on what you wrote, Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so my first suggestion is, uh, I strongly think such opinions lack coherence. In my humble opinion, I would prefer to travel by bus. But instead of saying what your opinion is, why not compare the modes first? You talked about cars, motorbikes, and trains, right? So maybe, you can say people deciding to travel, they may choose to travel, you know, cars or using cars, motorbikes, and trains. Each of these methods has advantages. And then in one paragraph, you can talk about the advantages of traveling by car. Another paragraph, talk about the advantages of traveling by motorbike. Another paragraph, talk about the advantages of traveling by train, right? So now that gives you one, two, three, four. And in the fifth paragraph, you can talk about which of these methods you think is the, <coughs> the most convenient. That, that's what I would do. I would probably do it that way, but notice how you talk about advantages of traveling by bus, right? The next paragraph you talk about the disadvantages of traveling by car. So I would talk about why some people want to travel by bus, why other people want to travel by car, why some choose to travel by trains without stating your opinion. To compare them first is to just show why people would choose those. That's what I would do there and that way you're more neutral until you get to the last paragraph then you can you can explain which method of travel you think is better and why. So I think that would help your structure uh, a little bit more. Okay, let me just show you one other thing here with your verb. So I did a big mistake. I thought that I, I thought that it, you wanna say, I thought that it was going to be tough and that I, I'm going to say had made a big mistake there. And then, but during my first ride, I realized, notice how you shift into the present for some reason here. So it's, I realized that I was more relaxed when I was. On a bus, right? So you have to be careful about your verb tenses. Make sure that you're, uh, you're using these verb tenses uh, correctly. So if I, if I go through the entire essay, uh, I do have to make quite a few corrections and that's one of the reasons I scored you below 3.75 or 24 points. And I think you could have better responded to the actual writing task. Okay, so to help you here, uh, I want you to take a look at in the in the grammar part of my course I want you to take a look at I, I'm not sure what the lesson is it's called shifts or actually look at the lesson on verb tenses look at that that's a good lesson for you right now all right 
I have the integrated speaking rubrics with me right now, so I'm getting ready to listen to the speaking practice test that you sent me yesterday. Okay, so let's listen to it. Uh, here we go. The reading passage is about signaling and Professor in the lecture further elaborates on his idea by giving an example of his friend who owns a jewelry store. To begin with, Professor explains that her friend owns a jewelry store and sells expensive jewelries. So those customers who are considering of buying this authentic jewelries, they want to know whether they, uh, they are buying real diamonds or not. So her friend hired, a, hired an expert who examined his jewelry and certified them as authentic. So now the customers have an ex evidence of, from an expert jewelries that these jewelries are of high quality and worth of high prices. So to sum up, this is how the professor explains about signaling which passage defines as when the seller finds a way to demonstrate its buyer that the product is of high quality given by the professor in the lecture. Okay, it's good. I think this is a pretty good response. And I just went over to ETS. I looked at a sample response that they scored at a four, at least for the independent speaking response. And what was interesting is it it wasn't like super organized, but what, what ETS likes, and it's what you just did, they like you to be able to speak fairly quickly for the full 45 or 60 seconds without a lot of repetition, and you need to be able to speak clearly. So that's one of the things you might want to think about, and I think you did a pretty good job on that here. Okay, let's listen to it one more time. Uh, my guess right now, you're, you're between 3 and 3.5, so maybe between 23 and 26 points. Let's listen to it one more time. The reading passage is about signaling and Professor in the lecture further elaborates on his idea by giving an example of his friend who owns a jewelry store. Okay. To begin with, Professor explains that her friend owns a jewelry store and sells expensive jewelries. So those customers who are considering of buying this authentic jewelries, they want... But what about the, the reading passage? The reading passage is about signaling and Professor in the lecture further elaborates on his idea by giving an example of his friend who owns a jewelry store. Now what I would do is, is say signaling according to the reading passage is defined as and just give a brief definition of it and then quickly move to the example. To begin with, Professor explains that her friend owns a jewelry store and sells expensive jewelries. So those customers who are considering of buying this authentic jewelries, they want to know whether they, uh, they are buying real diamonds or not. So her friend hired a uh, hired. So you're not 100% intelligible. That's my only worry. I listened to the uh, speaker at ETS who, who was speaking and he was speaking a little bit more clearly than you. An expert who examined his jewelry and certified them as authentic. So now, say authentic, authentic with a TH. The customers have an ex evidence of from an expert jewelries that these jewelries are of high quality and I'm trying to get what you just said. You're saying exports? Customers have an ex evidence of from an expert jewelries that these So you had a little bit of trouble with your intelligibility at about 38 to 40 seconds. These jewelries are of high quality and worth of high prices. So to sum up, this is how the professor explains about signaling which passage defines as when the seller finds a way to demonstrate its buyer that the product is of high quality given by the professor in the lecture. Okay, so I think on this one, I think some minor intelligibility issues, I think, are going to lower it a little bit. So I'm going to put you at about 24 to 26 points out of 30. It does take some effort uh, to understand what you're saying, but not where it says in too significant listener effort, but it takes some effort where it says may require some listener effort at times.